Hey everybody, end of the year video, Interland Customs. Didn't get a lot done this year, unfortunately. Um, I got the Buffalo Sabre prop plane in the New Zealand markings from World War II done. These were used quite a bit. Um, not a great build of mine, but I'm not much of a plane builder. I did enjoy building it. And uh, I never talked about it much in the last video. I talked a little more about uh, Chris Cortell passing, but um, yeah, I don't know. Not much to say. It's a Tamiya kit. Um, and I learned kind of, you know, every plane you, you build, you learn a little bit more. I find planes very challenging. I think if anybody, you know, wants a challenge, you know, build an airplane, build a prop plane or a, a Skyhawk jet or whatever you, your desire is. Because uh, there, yeah, there's a lot to them. Um, yeah, I just find them challenging. They're fun. And so anyway, currently, uh, then I am a little bit, got some parts painted and some chassis work done. On this VK16801. Uh, this is a super heavy tank, as you can see. This is the predecessor to the Moss tank that the Germans had built. Uh, they built two of the Moss tanks, and then this one was just blueprints, so it is a true paper panzer, as they say. Uh, it's a TACOM kit in 135 scale. Uh, these were huge, you know, big tanks. Um, this one, you know, if the war had gone on, hypothetical, this probably would have built, would have been built maybe in 47, maybe they would have built more Moss tanks in 46. Um, again, all hypothetical, but I like, uh, I like the concept tanks. I really like this. What's fun about these tanks is they have a lot of surface area. There's not a lot of nit looks and crannies and parts that, you know, a lot of us like subcomponents, but there's just a lot of surface area to play with here in terms of painting, weathering, uh, trying different camouflages and so forth. A lot of people, because it's prototype, they make it look more like it was literally in a customs garage where they've got some stripes on it, some chalk with some instructions written on the turret, uh, and those look pretty cool. It's pretty uh, creative. Um, this one, I'm not sure yet uh, what I'm going to do uh, paint-wise. I'd like to do kind of a camo scheme. And then maybe the turret, uh, maybe they could look a little bit uh, prototype. Like maybe don't paint it or just have it look like it's steel that wasn't painted or what have you. So I'm looking forward to that. And that's the top hole right there uh, of it. it. Happens to be on the bench. Um, some other news, uh, sad news, uh, my dog passed away and she was, uh, uh, she was a lot of fun and I miss her. Uh, she was the mascot of the channel, which is Black Lab Silhouette. Uh, of course, I'm just going to keep that. Um, that was in tribute to her and, uh, well, we all go the, through that. So, um, uh, she didn't suffer anything. She just, uh, she passed away. So, uh, it was her time, I guess. I hate saying that, but, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to miss her, and then about a month later, I got a new new puppy, and she's been a lot of fun, so that's that's been a, a good a good healing process, I guess you could say. Um, I got a Christmas card from uh, Tom, old Tom, Rambler69. I always enjoy uh, hearing from him, and he sends a card out once a year, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I always enjoy my conversations with him. Uh, glad he got to retire after a life of hard work, so now he can... Uh, Hopefully get more bench time in. Um, I was sorry to hear about Chris Chapman passing away. Uh, auto builder. Uh, passionate about uh, motorcycles. I guess uh, I had met him just once in person down at uh, the GSL uh, Great Salt Lake uh, Auto Show. And that was, I think, back in 2017. I uh, had a great visit with him. Uh, Pete McDonald was there, who's lazy-eyed modeler. He traveled all the way from the... Uh, Ontario, Canada, um, for that show. So it was, we all got to meet up and, and visit. And yeah, it was just unfortunate to hear about Chris's uh, sudden passing. Uh, airbrush wise, I, I did pick up a few new things. Um, I picked up a couple airbrushes. This is the, I think you pronounce it gallery. Uh, so it's a, it's a gallery, uh, G H A D. Um, I don't know if you say G had, uh, Dash 39. It's a multi-purpose airbrush. It's I like the dual action gravity fed, of course. That's my favorite. Um, similar to what like I had in my I have in my Pash Talon or my uh what's the other one I have? Can't even think of the brand now. Um the Badger uh, Echo I have. Anyway, I got that recommendation from a friend. It was on sale. So I'm gonna give that a try. Uh this one I'm gonna actually use on the current tank I'm doing. And this one is the Neo Echo. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just Neo Echo multi-purpose airbrush. Um, looks like a lot of fun. Uh, it's always cool to try out some different airbrushes. So 
Uh, nothing wrong with my other one, but uh, I've got stocked up a little bit on airbrushes now. Now I just have to get something built. And uh, another thing I was going to say, I guess, is I'm going to build a, a jig this year for, hopefully soon, for uh, aircraft. Um, I don't know if it'll hold a 132nd scale uh, jet. It might hold a 132nd scale prop plane from World War II. But uh, those jigs, you just kind of have a base, and you have like four stands, and you can move them around. Like, you got a stand that holds up the nose, the tail, and then the, the wings, fuselage, and everything. So it um, won't be too hard to build. It'll just be... You know, simple build. They do sell them, but I was just going to build one out of wood. So, looking forward to getting that done. Um, I guess I forgot to mention the super heavy tank. I'm going to have some German soldiers sitting on it. I found some, I think they're Tamiya figures. Maybe Masterbox. I can't, or <laughs> Masterbox. Um, I can't think of that brand now. My mind's blank, but uh, maybe it's Masterbox. Anyway, uh, to sit on that, maybe have a little vignette. I'm going to have to maybe reconfigure this room because I am definitely running out of room to display models. So I'm going to have to figure out something. <laughs> maybe I'll have to build more shelves. Uh, I don't know. Or just have a display case in the living room, maybe where I put them. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to building some planes. I really like the uh, 64 to 84 kind of time period with jets. Uh, it's fun. I like the Phantoms, F4J Phantoms. Uh, I think that's how you say it, F4 Phantom. Uh, good enough and then um what's the other one i like skyhawks uh those are those are pretty cool looking planes i don't or jets i mean they're so looking forward to that um i had another diorama that i was gonna do for um with the ukraine war uh it's got one of those um what is it the missile launcher deal it's it's called a flamethrower actually because the missiles it launches explode with fire in the air um it's a Russian one. Anyway, there was a picture early on of one of those stuck in a field and left. So I was just going to do that. And I've got some, uh, I was just going to have these three figures just walking by it or something. These are, yeah, master box. And it's kind of, kind of different building something for modern day. You know, most of the things I build, of course, are, you know, we build, I built World War One, World War II, events that happened decades ago. But that's another plan in the works. So yeah, that's about it. Um, just wish I'd gotten more built this year. It's just been a tough year and uh, a lot of loss, a lot of setbacks. Um, but hopefully, hopefully 2024 is better. And uh, I hope 2024 is better for all everybody out there. So you guys all take care. Have a happy and safe new year out there. Um, yeah, be safe. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll get some things going here and, and get more videos out. So appreciate it. Take care.